Good morning, and I thank the organizers of this extremely important hearing, which I hope will help uh, draw global attention to the lack of justice for crimes uh, against uh, committed against journalists worldwide. I think it's a historic moment in the pursuit of justice for our own slain uh, editor, as well as all other journalists who have been harmed. I consider it an honor to have been invited to submit this uh, testimony uh, as a former staffer. I would like to request the tribunal to kindly grant me permission uh, to read out a very brief statement as part of my testimony. Thank you, please go ahead. Thank you. For many people, Lasanta Vikramatunga was a trailblazing investigative journalist, a force, a powerful critique of the establishment. But for us, he was a much loved editor whose leadership skills, interpersonal skills, human kindness, cheerful nature, made him an extremely endearing and beautiful human being. We had the pleasure and the privilege of working with. He had an amazing network of human sources and incomparable capacity to verify information and the gift of, uh, of, um, gift of a prosecuting attorney to complete his, to complete his stories with great attention to detail that ensured nothing went missing in the stories he did. He also, however, evoked contrasting emotions. Uh, he was loved, respected and valued by the progressive elements in our country, for he had the courage to speak truth to power and to accept the consequences that came with it. As much as he was loved, he was also feared and hated by some, which brings us to the purpose of this hearing itself. I'm sorry, Miss Handinetti, can I please yes? ask you to slow down a little bit for the translators? Thank you. Okay, sorry. Okay, we'll do that. Should I start? Yes, please carry on. Okay. Should I go back to the previous paragraph and go slow? No, no, I think they're okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So needless to say, in our country, the pursuit of justice for Lasanta has not borne fruit. We are extremely thankful for the opportunity presented by the People's Tribunal. And it is our fervent hope that this process would contribute to achieving justice for a man who fearlessly defended the rights of others and sacrificed his life speaking truth to power. Uh, when I interviewed him on 2nd of October 2008, I had no idea that it was likely to be his final interview as a journalist. I was compiling a media status report for the Asian Media Forum at the time, and we published this report with his quotes posthumously. In this interview, he also spoke about uh, the role of narrative makers and also about embedded journalism. And these were the years of uh, war and towards we were moving towards the end of the war as well. I quote from parts of my interview notes, journalists must be mindful of getting involved in dangerous narrative making. The question to ask would be, is it for the greater good of the people whose voice journalists are meant to represent? The government has crafted a master narrative and there is more and more buy-in from various media houses. This narrative is particularly dangerous as it, as it tends to feed racism. It tends to fuel divisions and thrive.